When you want to type an emoji or any other special character, you would normally use one of the keyboard shortcuts. There are actually two shortcuts. I will show you in a moment. And then, using that, you will get to this emoji viewer where you can select whatever you want. But the interesting thing is that you can add to this viewer a favorite set of emojis or symbols you are using the most. Let me show you how it's done. I will demonstrate it here in Pages app, but you can use it in Messages, on the web, in Notes app, or even for renaming folders. So first is the shortcut. I am used to the old combination Control Command Spacebar, but you can also use the FN key, also known as the Globe key, and the letter E. Both of these shortcuts will bring up this special viewer here. Now you can scroll through all the different emojis and other characters. Use the row on the bottom to jump to different categories or use the search at the top to find a specific symbol. Also at the top you will see your frequently used emojis. It will automatically update based on your use. But right below then we can add our favorites folder which can be fully customized and it will not be based only on what you are frequently using. So to get this special favorite section, you first have to switch to the second mode of this emoji viewer. You have to expand this view. You can easily switch between these two modes by clicking on this button at the top right corner of the window. Here on the left are different categories. You can select the category, scroll through the symbols, and once you select any, you will see its bigger preview. And notice, there is a button here, Add to Favorites. This only appears in this expanded character viewer, not in the small one. So you have to switch to this mode to add your favorites. But once I have added my first favorite emoji, I can switch back to the simple view and the category will already be here as well. Now let's go back and search for some more emojis. I can go to another section and maybe add another character there. But it doesn't need to be emoji only. You can still use this feature to get access to other symbols, like mathematical symbols. I can easily add this to favorite as well. There are actually a lot more categories than are currently listed. If you click here, you can customize this list and add a lot more other symbols. I often use the technical symbols to describe the shortcuts. So I can turn on this category and add these symbols to my favorites as well. You can continue to add as many you want and you can simply manage your selection from here as well. If you want to get rid of one of them, simply select it and use the remove from favorites button. You can even drag and drop these icons to change the order. But before you close this window, make sure to go back to the standard view because Mac always remembers the selected mode in which you have closed it. Now I can go anywhere else on the Mac, maybe in the notes, tap the shortcut and I have quick access to my favorite symbols and emojis anytime. And if you want to have access to all of these tips and tutorials, then subscribe to Apple Online Academy and I'll get you some more in the next video.